What's going on guys, it's Lily618 and it's October, which means we are one month away from the release of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, the next installment in the Call of Duty series. And as we get closer and closer to the end of Black Ops 3 and we transition to the new game, we start looking forward and we start looking ahead and wondering what is this next year of Call of Duty going to bring to us? And to me, I have two major concerns for this next release. Um, one of them's a bit more personal, and I'll get into that a little bit, but there's one that I think is really going to affect the community, and I want you guys to hear me out on this and leave a comment below and tell me what you guys think. Let's get some conversation going. But let's get into the two concerns. This first one is a bit more of a personal one, and it's the fact that it's Infinity Ward that's developing the game. Now, to understand where I'm coming from, you guys gotta realize that my first Call of Duty game was Black Ops 1, and I've bought every new Call of Duty since. So, we're talking about Mon Warfare 3, which was okay, but I didn't like it. I ended up going back to Black Ops 1 really early on in the game's life cycle. And then Call of Duty Ghost, which was an abomination. So those are my two experiences with Infinity Ward. That being said, I've seen the footage of the game. I've seen what Infinite Warfare is offering, and it looks pretty good. It looks kind of like, just based on the art style, that it's more of a... It looks more Treyarch-ish than it does Infinity Ward-ish. So, I'm really interested to see how the mechanics work, you know, because there's only so much you can tell from YouTube videos, so I'm really interested to see the art style and the mechanics from the actual playing the game, the perspective of playing the game. So, I'm really interested to see that, but I can't help but be concerned about, you know, is Infinity Ward going to actually make a good game this year? Because I haven't had a lot of good experiences with Infinity Ward, especially the past two games they've released. So I am really concerned about that. Now the one that I think is going to affect the community is the fact that they are releasing Modern Warfare Remastered along with the game. Now we've talked about how DLC separates community and fragments it to the point where you know it could affect connections, it could affect the number of people that you can get matched up with, what happens when you throw not just DLC for the new game, but you throw in the fact that they are putting in a bundle, a pre-order bundle, where not only you get Infinite Warfare, but you get Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare Remastered. You are separating the community from the very beginning, because there's going to be some people that just want to play Modern Warfare Remastered after the first week, and some that might not even play it on the first day. It might just go straight to it the first day. Whereas, you know, DLC, it did a little bit of separation, but it wasn't all that effective on the player base. What happens when you throw in that extra game, and you have the DLC on top of it? How fragmented is that game going to get? And that's a big concern because we have connection issues already in these games. And if you're talking about splitting the player base up into two separate games and having DLC in both games, we could be looking at the player base being so separated that the connections are going to suffer and that the you know just the whole community is going to be suffering because you're going to have these people that are going to be just playing infinite warfare you got these people that are just going to be playing my warfare and you'll get people that bounce back and forth between the two more than likely i'm going to bounce back and forth between the two but i have to wonder i have to worry i have to be concerned about how releasing two games with the legacy and legacy pro editions is going to pan out for or the lifespan of the game, particularly on the multiplayer side. So those are just a few of my concerns. Um, I'd like to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. What are your main concerns for this year's Call of Duty? Are you concerned about the play style? Are you concerned about the quick scoping? Because I've heard a lot of things about quick scoping, and we could probably get into that in a future video. I've heard a lot of things about, you know, just the overall play style of Infinite Warfare, I've, you know, I brought up concern about having two separate games. What are your concerns about the game this year? And what are your hopes for the game Infinite Warfare and also for COD 4 Remastered? I'd like to know that in the comment section below. And while you guys are down there, hit like, hit subscribe if you're new, and check out my other videos. I'm going to try to get back into this YouTube thing, I promise. But anyway guys, my name's Lily618, I'm out. Peace! Talk to